This video covers part three of lab eight for my physical science students. And this is a special version of the video being created just for the spring 2020 students. Now you can see I've got GIMP opened up here and I've already put my image in. This time around for my spring 2020 students, I'm not going to make you do the measurements yourself. Normally, they would have already had a time in the semester to get the GIMP program set up on their computer and make sure they know how to use it. For some of you, you're working under difficult circumstances with very limited internet. So I'm going to go ahead and make some of these measurements for you. I've already got it on my little measurement tool here. And so to make a measurement, I need to click and drag. Now the first measurement that you need to make is for question 3.3. .3. And it's measuring from the sun to the point on the orbit which is closest to the sun, which is going to be over here. You're actually answering a question about that in 3.2, but I'll let you think about that one. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so I can make some more accurate measurements. When I measure from the sun, I click and drag out to the place on the orbit here where that dark line is. And then I can come down here and view how many pixels that was. So this measurement here, which you can round off to 184 if you want to, is going to be your measurement for 3.3, .3, your perihelion distance. Question 3.4 has you measure from the sun to the furthest location away. So I'm going to shift this just a little bit, and we're going to measure from the sun. Now, you notice it started on this. You just got to click to sort of cancel that one out, and then go from the sun to this point further away. And then you'll come down here again and see how many pixels that one was. And again, you can round this off if you'd like to, to about 305 pixels. The next measurement you have to make is the entire major axis. And this major axis, I said, is the dark dotted line. So that's going to go from this side all the way across over here to this side. And again, getting it as close as I can, but there might be a little bit of air. And that's going to be somewhere right around 488 pixels, let's say. The last measurement you have to make for question 3.6 is the entire minor axis. And that's the light gray dots. So that goes from this spot on the orbit all the way across over here to this spot on the orbit. And that's going to give us a value of 400 and maybe 74 pixels. Those are your measurements that you'll put into page 5 of your lab report to answer questions 3.3, 3.4, 3.5, and 3.6. It's then going to ask you some questions about those measurements, and there's one small calculation you need to do. And I'll have some other information about those in a different video.